Well, how are you feeling? You got John Riggs here with Copper Jacket. Um, this is a new homebrew for the NES. Uh, recently made, freshly made, physical cartridge. It's on Kickstarter right now. If you want to pre-order yours, uh, the game is completed. Uh, they're just using the Kickstarter as a form of getting the physical cartridge in your hands. And they provided me with one for the purpose of this video. So I know it's weird. I'm holding onto the game, but you see the game up at the corner, uh, that corner, I guess. Um, I'm, I'm playing the ROM via Mister, um, but they did send over a physical cartridge of the game as well. And I'm looking forward to streaming this on Twitch too. I love streaming homebrews on Twitch and I love checking out uh, these new games that people are making, man, because they're still making new games for older systems. And I'm all, I'm all about that. I'm all about that. So I'm going to place that safe over there. And we're going to check out this game called Copper Jacket from Monsoon Studios. Uh, this is courtesy of Monsoon Studios. And uh, let's, man, let's go. I'm, I'm ready. Uh, I haven't, I haven't, I saw the screenshots and I saw a couple videos from their Kickstarter page. Uh, looks neat. Looks like my kind of game. Two player in this game as well. Um, I am flying solo. So one player for me. Here we go. All right. So that's you down there. Oh, I like the animation. I like how you can have the different angles there. There's you shooting. Shoot all uh, eight directions here. Well, it's just kind of a, you know, just first impressions, play through for a little bit. Um, you know, n no editing on purpose. Okay, so now it's, uh, I can, the, the, there's my machine gun. Okay, the enemies explode. Everybody's combustible in this game. I like that. Oh, is this going to be a flamethrower? Please say it's a flamethrower. Ah, I guess that's a flamethrower. I'll take it. I love it. Lots of items. H for health? I'm not sure. I'm looking at my monitor over on this side, too, so you're like, well, how come I'm not looking at the screen? Well, it's because I'm doing this. But man, I totally get it. This is very, um, you know, you've seen like Akari Warriors, and that's probably the game that people come to first. Uh, Commando, maybe. Maybe something a little bit like um, Guerrilla War. What was that, rain? You got rain effects in this game? Dude! I'm down for this. Shotgun? That's my shotgun. I got a, I got a shotgun. I'm gonna go back to the flamethrower. I like that one. Slows down when you get in the water. And I haven't even checked. This has all been the, with the B button so far. I haven't even hit the A button yet. I'm hoping A button is bomb. I'm guessing that that's, that's what that is. I'll find out when there's a... Next, next time I... I'll let you know when I hit the A button. Just out of curiosity here. Music's pretty cool. I'll take, I'll, I'll take it. This, what did I get? This. But this is my rapid fire again. I don't know if it's showing up on screen, but I do see the little bullets as they're shooting out of there. They're super fine, and they're a little flickery. Here, okay, A button. It did nothing. It killed me. <laughs> I was too busy, too busy hitting the A button. Oh, that's what that is. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, okay, so it's like a, um, it's like C4 or something like that. You plant it, and you can run away. And then when you hit your A button again, it explodes. Dude! Okay, what a cool mechanic. Cool, cool, cool. I like it. I like it a lot. 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 Okay, here we go. Um, come on. So if I know enemies are going to be here... Oh, well, I still got hit, but still... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dude, this is... Okay. The, the, the shotgun would work in that, that section right there. I gotta make sure I have that shotgun when I go down there again. Watch out for these, uh... Was that cotton candy? What is... <laughs> I don't know what it is. I gotta avoid it, though. Can't be good. Watch this. Boom. Oh, they can shoot through the trees. Lame. Alright. I'm gonna die in the same spot again? I'm gonna die in the same spot again. Game over? Not even. Okay. Well, let's keep going. As long as we can, anyway. I do like the graphic of this guy. I like I, I like how the beret of all of all of all things, of all things with the graphics, that's the thing I notice. Is how the beret is set in uh, in 8-bit pixel form. That's important to me. Not how to properly wear a beret. I mean, I couldn't tell you that. I've never been in the military or anything like that. As Red Skelton says, uh, um, I was in the military and they um, and they kicked me out on account of my back. I had a yellow streak of it. <laughs> nah, I... 
I'm good. Let's see here. But if you are in the military, thank you for your sacrifice and your service. I appreciate you. Props to our vets. Okay, let's see here. So I don't have a shotgun. Let me see what this... This is start. So it pauses. Perfect. And... And there is going to be a sound delay. Only because I forgot to set the recording delay. There we go. I got past that part. Okay, this has got to be a boss fight. Ah. Can I do the Blaster Master thing where I hold the button down and I strafe? Nope. Hey. Do I have to start all the way back there again? I do. All right. Yeah, so the, 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 I just realized the sound timing is going to be okay by me. Uh, but in the video, there'll be a bit of a delay. So apologize about that. I'm not editing this video. It's, just, it's a straight rip and, uh, rip and upload <laughs> for the sake of convenience. All right, what do we got? You know, I'm going to go with this. I can't shoot those, but I can shoot that. So I'm gonna have to go down here, do a little pattern like this. I can make it through without getting hit. Oh, that's not even the boss. Got one hit point left. Yeah, there it is. Got a little counter on the side there. All right, still going, still going. All right, I don't. All right, um, I'm all the way back here again, dude. I mean, cheat codes? <laughs> I got infinite lives or something. I got infinite lives, it seems like. I need infinite health, I think. Alright. I'm guessing that H is health. I need one of those H's at the later on here. Could help me out. Alright, let's find a different strategy. Let's go over this way. Okay, they don't hit you. I'm the one running into them. That's the problem. Mm. Over here. Dude. Oh. And then when you get hit, you, I lose my gun, it seems like. Dee -dee 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 -dee. And again, this is the ROM version that they sent me, so I don't know if your version will, uh, will have infinite lives or anything like that. I don't know. I don't know. There we go. Uh, oh, do I go over here? Yay! I made it! Finally! <laughs> hey, just because I like video games doesn't mean I'm any good at it, right? I'm just here to have fun. Alright, let's play this for a little bit longer here. This is kind of cool. I like this. Eee! Do, 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 do. Oh. I wonder how many, uh... Oh, I, I need that. Get back. Oh, I got it. Okay, good. It's getting scurred there. I didn't know if I was actually going to get it or not. Come on, walkie, walkie, walkie. Nope, 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 nope. Got people shooting at me. Got these little things coming after me. Ooh. Well, I can shoot those things. Maybe I have to be fully on the screen. Okay, here's my shotgun again. And the more I hit the shotgun, the more the bolts don't travel. So I can't just like auto. Well, I can auto if they're right in front of me. But when I hit the when I hit the shoot button again, I guess it's called fire. When I f oh, this got to be a boss battle. Boss battle. Oh, there we go. Ah. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Ha ha. I think I'm hitting. Oh, I I just saw I saw damage. Okay. Nice. Got him. Got him, got him. Listen to me, Hotshot. I know you can hear me on your radio. Oh, I gotta, I gotta talk faster. <laughs> I'm a fast talker anyway. <laughs> shouldn't, have, shouldn't have waited so long. Alright. 
But when this game comes to modern uh, consoles, I'll, I'll be the voice of that guy. How about that? <laughs> There's no plans on it going to modern console that I know of, but... <laughs> hey, you, know, you never know. If my NES homebrew can get to a modern console, anybody's can, I'm telling you. At least as a Switch, right? Or at least a Steam. <laughs> Steam will publish anything. Ah! <sighs> yeah, we can call it good for now. This is fun. Okay, uh, yeah, let me... Uh, the quick little uh, recap here. Like such. And here it is again. Copper Jacket. Uh, got all the links to the Kickstarter in the description below, and you can uh, follow them for uh, more updates on that. Thank you for sending me one of these to check out. I like this, and I'm going to be... Uh, you'll, you'll see me streaming this on Twitch uh, sometime in the near future, so um, maybe even tonight, as we were watching this video. Whenever you watch this video, it, it could be tonight. Who knows? <laughs> so follow me on Twitch, and um, and thanks. And, and support your local homebrew community. Support your indie. And when I say homebrew, I don't just mean some dude in the, in the garage making a game with him and his friends which is great. Uh, even your indie guys. I mean, just support the guys who are just making games by fans for fans. They're not showing a whole lot of profit from these things, but it's fun and they're giving back and that's, they're giving back to the community. We can show our support by dropping a couple of bucks. Grab one of these, if not the physical cartridge. I mean, if games are available through a ROM or something like that, man, all, all, all the difference in the world. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And, um, and we'll see you again real soon, I promise.